Thanks for staying with us. So today we are just going straight into what we found in the news. And I'm going to go with Tammy. So what did you find first? Tammy? I got it right, right? <laughs> tried, We're tried. Getting there. <laughs> okay, so in the news today, there's this, um, there's this story about a petrol tanker laden with about 33,000 liters of petrol overturned on Festac Bridge. And, you know, petrol poured out of it very sad case i didn't find out if or i, I couldn't find any uh, mortality whether anyone was injured or anything like that i didn't find that in the news but what i found interesting is that again the sad story of petrol leaking petrol pouring on the road and people gather around with their liters of with their kegs you know and they're scooping petrol mm. and you know i i just thought to myself mm. this is dangerous we all know it is dangerous they know it is dangerous I'm just wondering why they did it. They, and they don't stop as well. Kara Bridge, I think it was yesterday or two days ago. Um, I, had the two days, fire. I think it was two days ago. It was two days That's ago. Bad, uh, yeah, yes, Expressway. I saw, that, I saw that fire. So, but, um, you know, what struck me, I mean, first act is near and dear to my heart. Um, this is not the first time it's happening in that same spot. So I think this time it happened on the other side of the bridge. Um, no, actually, sorry, I'm, I'm wrong. I've, I confirmed this morning. It's on the same side of the bridge. So it was on the bridge on the part leading out of Festac. And this happened, I believe it was in 2017, and over 20 cars were burnt. I, I can't remember then as well if um, lives were lost, casualty, but I remember yeah. that literally the flame came down mm -hmm. um, the bridge and, and engulfed all the cars. And the first question I asked this morning when I saw this was... But they've stopped these tankers from actually taking that bridge because it's a small bridge that mm -hmm. goes over the, can um, the, the, the canal um, water there in Amu. And I think to myself, why again? The rule was clear. I think after the last fire, the tankers were no longer allowed to go out of Festac that way. So to see this happening again, again, there's been a breach somewhere, whether it's that somebody's bribing somebody or somebody has forgotten the rules and all of a sudden the tankers now know, oh, we can go through there and there are no consequences. But there's a reason because this keeps happening. <laughs> it's a very steep incline mm. to which you have all. And, you know, I see these tankers sometimes as, you know, a vehicle that's meant to use, what, 16 tires or something? You see it's, there's half a tire here. There's no tire <laughs> here. condemned tires. You see what I mean? And then you <laughs> wonder when it falls mm. over i mean the part about people going to school, school fuel of course i mean it's Nigeria poverty, is poverty. They say, if you they see keep it, saying it's poverty yeah but i mean you put yourself at risk because you're not thinking the first mm. thing you're thinking is i need to go and, and scoop this but yeah. always sad to see glad that at least this time it didn't catch fire absolutely so um what's your story hmm. in um, so my story is, uh, I just thought it'd be good to touch on this because it says that Lagos State or Lagos to temporarily close Works Road Ikeja and two others for construction from no November 9th. So the Lagos State government put out um, a tweet um, yesterday which said the Lagos State Ministry of Transportation has announced plans to temporarily close Adejobi Streets in Agegi, Adebola Level Crossing and Works Road in Ikeja in continuation of the ongoing Nigeria Railway Modernization Project. Um, and this is the Lagos Ibano uh, section with the extension to Lagos Port of Papa. So this is just, I mean, it's quite a detailed story um, and it talks about the roads being closed each day from 8 p.m. to 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. on the 9th, 10th and 11th of November for, for the construction. So that's from tomorrow up until uh, Wednesday. The story also does propose um, alternative routes, which we won't go into now, but you know, if you're affected by that, then it'd be great to look at, um, uh, look on social media or look online um, where there are quite detailed um, information about the alternate, alternate routes, routes that have been planned for Absolutely. the next three days. Absolutely, okay, so mine is bringing us back to reality of what we're going through. Because mm -hmm. people still think that COVID-19 is not uh, real. <laughs> it's, or it's left the building. It's so interesting how they were celebrating, uh, what's it called, Joe Biden yesterday. CNN was very careful to say, uh, you know, they're not observing social distancing. Because, you know, th that's part of the tool they used against Trump's yeah. campaign that yeah. his people were not aware. Yeah. But you could see visibly that even all the celebrants, they had their, their nose, uh, yeah, their, their face mask on and all of that. So, um, COVID-19 cases um, in another school, Lagos State discovers more COVID-19 cases in another school. And the, the story was um, one of the staff had test, had fallen ill. So later, the, te the, the, the staff tested positive mm. for COVID-19. And, you know, this is a private school in Lagos State. And they've started doing contact um, tracing as well. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Are they supposed to shut down the, the entire school? So or? they're limiting exposure. Okay. So um, if you recall when they had the last school that had the um, cases with the students in Lekki, mm. they kept the, the students isolated within the school. 
Um, so here as well, it, it does say that they're working with the school to limit exposure mm. um, and keeping, um, here it doesn't, I think it says for other people, but I don't think yeah. it, it explains that. Yeah, and he also well. said that most of them, most of the infected mm. persons were predominantly asymptomatic. asymptomatic. So, so, I mean, the thing is, right, <laughs> it, it feels can't even tell. so easy for us to say that COVID, and I know I'm a huge, you know, I say it all the time, ha, 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 COVID has left the group. But um, I, if, funny enough, I think that I woke up this morning and I, I never ever really like go on YouTube at that time of the day, but I went on YouTube this morning and I saw uh, an influencer talking about her experience with having survived COVID and all of that. And it just made me stop and think because I remember about three weeks ago, um, I got a notification from a friend abroad who talked about Nigeria, the numbers starting to go up. Because I'd stopped paying attention to the NCDC numbers. And you know me, I mm -hmm. was like following it every day, right? Um, but she said, oh, the numbers are going up. And now that as we're going towards the dry season, we have to worry about meningitis. Mm -hmm. We see how hot it is mm -hmm. and Lassa fever. So mm -hmm. guys, we just all need to keep washing our hands. We need to keep staying safe. Mm, yes. Absolutely. And you know, I would actually say that it's a good reminder. It's a good reminder for me. It's a good reminder for everyone. So usually I find that you walk into a place sometimes, even in Lagos, and you walk in with your face mask and you're looking, they're looking, you're, at, you you're looking at you like, <laughs> so, what is happening here? Like, how come you're the only one with a nose mask mm. here? So uh, it's a good reminder. And you know, sometimes you begin to not pay as much attention to it. Yeah. So. You, you actually give it to some supermarkets. They still maintain that policy. I That's think, so um, true, yeah, I don't want to give them free publicity, but there are some supermarkets that yeah. I know that these are very strict with that. You must wash your hands first. They, they've created a place to wash your hands where oh, yeah, they get the and they check your temperature before you go in and they've maintained it you would think that okay because everybody's yeah. almost relaxed yeah. but no people are actually mm. paying attention to those things so you know something funny <laughs> happened last week was it last week or a few days ago so a friend pranked me a friend who stays very close to me pranked me and said oh she went for the covid test and, and it, it came, came out negative oh, okay. so it came out positive sorry and, you know, I was in that state of counseling her, <laughs> talking to her, okay, so they say it's going to be contact tracing next. What do we do? I've been in touch with you. And then all of a sudden, she says, oh, I was just joking. She shows me the result. I felt like strong. <laughs> How do you joke no, with that. something like this? How do you joke with something like this? So I understand. Like that moment, it was emotional. This was just like five minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For that five minutes, I was counseling her. I'm and then I was talking about myself. You should, like, you should watch I, that I video as well. You. Because, I've been really you. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's so funny because she, she described it in the video where she goes, so when it started in contact tracing, are you feeling ill? <laughs> no, okay. Um, well, I'm just calling to let you know I've been exposed. Oh, silence. That's not like that's not the best feeling. The person is thinking, "Hello, are you there?" <laughs> okay. Hey, but I've been having a headache. No, you're, you're fine. <laughs> you should watch it. It was good fun. <laughs> Very good I fun. Experienced. Right, so, uh, that's all we can take on what's in the news. When we return, we'll be discussing um, social media bill. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.